High performance or pressurized thin layer chromatography. It consists of mainly three parts sample injector, visualizer, and scanner. Then nitrogen gas chamber. It is connected to the sample injector. This pointer should show the pressure in between 4 and 6 for effective sample loading. Samples are carefully taken with special syringe. Check it for air bubbles. Wipe it with tissue paper. Then fit the syringe in its position in the sample injector. It automatically allows the syringe to load the sample. It is a chromatographic plate. Plate size varies with the sample numbers. These plates are pre-coated with silicon over the aluminum sheets. It may need activation if it is stored for a long time. After it reach moving to part position, remove the injection. Similar to this, inject all the samples. Carefully check the syringe to remove the air bubbles because it may affect the sample amount. Again fit the syringe. And allow it to work automatically. After it comes to the part position, remove the syringe, remove chromatography plate without touching the sample, it is the twin of chamber, it is left for chamber saturation up to 30 minutes. It is filled with 10 to 15 ml of solvent that is stationary phase in the ratio of 5 is to 5 is to 1 of toluene, ethyl acetate and formic acid. More 8 cm from the bottom on the chromatographic plate. Then Emits the chromatographic plate inside the twin trough chamber and allow the mobile face to move over the plate. We will never allow that mobile face not to move over the marked position. It is the developmentation. After developmentation, dry it in vacuum desiccator. 
avoid using hair dryer or else the essential oil components will evaporate keep it in visualizer at 254 nanometer it is at 366 nanometer if the sample is not of u non uv observing type it should be immersed in h2so4 for derivatization but it should not exit 10 seconds and again air dry the bands are appeared in it and we should compare that all these are automation are done by using wincat software in this first analysis all are automatically loaded leono linomat 5 is used to load it then stationary phase here the size of the chromatographic plate i have to be mentioned then here the number of the samples have to be mentioned here the sample size was or recorder the temperature and time are also taken into account in post chromatographic derivatization if it the derivatization is required it should be filled the solution here used is 10% sulfuric acid it is detected using 254 nanometer usually it is taken in evaluation it is evaluated by the software in documentation uh, using the visualizer in both nanometer it is taken 254 nanometer 366 nanometer and also at the white light here are the images obtained at 254 nanometer and 366 nanometer up to this we attain only the qualitative analysis for quantitative analysis we have to go for scanner first it gives the peaks which determines the sample amount that is the compound present in the sample then we have to do the graph and compare it with the standards then we came to the conclusion how much amount of the compound is present in the given sample